And Manchi goes to once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh man, that scene actually made the whole movie for me. I love that scene. And talking about that scene, yeah. we actually have a conversation, telephone conversation between Quentin Tarantino and Brad Pitt, nice. where Tarantino is actually pitching this scene to Brad Pitt. Okay. So let's check that out. It's like a standoff, man. Like a spaghetti western, okay? He's got a gun on you, alright? Mm-hmm. Are we in a basement? No, in a house, okay? So then this hippie, right? He's about to shoot you, alright? So you get your fucking pit bull, Brandy, to chew him up. Like John Wick 2? No, not like John Wick 2. I would never copy a movie, alright? Okay, Quinn. So then what? There's this other hippie, a woman, with a knife. She charges at you, okay? Okay, here we go. And you throw the can of dog food right in her face, alright? You break her nose, man. Is she screaming? Oh, yeah. I figured she would be. You like him screaming. Yeah, man. So this guy, he's trying to free himself from the pit bull, all right? And he starts punching it in the face. The dog? Yeah, the dog, all right? This big fucking scary dog, okay? We gonna show a dog getting punched in the face? No, man. I'm gonna show a dog getting punched multiple times in the face, okay? And then it's gonna bite him right in the nuts, all right? That seems fair. And I'm just watching all of this? Well, the other hippie, she's still around. You remember her, right? You broke her nose earlier? She's crawling on the floor now, all right? And for some reason, you want Brandy to rip her eyes out. Oh, like Kill Bill? No, not like Kill Bill. I would never copy a movie, all right? Okay, Quinn. And the dude, you remember the dude, right? He had a pit bull on his nuts. He has a knife now, right? He lunges at you with the knife. And you stab him and break his leg. All right. And then you stun him with a palm strike to the head, all right? All right. And then you go over to him and lift your foot and stomp his face right into the ground, all right? It explodes. Whoa. With one stomp, his face is pulp, okay? I just love pulp, man. I named a movie after pulp, you know? You can hear the bones crunch. Your foot, it literally sinks into his face, alright? Whoa, like in the elevator in that movie Drive? No, not like Drive. I would never copy a movie, alright? Okay, Quinn. So the fight's over now? Of course it's not over, Brad. First, Brandy bites the woman on the crotch, too. Gender equality. I like it. Me too, all right. I love violence on women. Me too. That's not what I... So then this third hippie, she tackles you out of nowhere, okay? And turns out, she stuck a knife in your leg. Whoa. Yeah, you don't like this at all, man. Huh. <laughs> no, I do not. You grab her by the hair and you smash her face into a wall phone, all right? Doesn't it break the phone? No, it breaks her face, okay? Then you do it again. Twice. Cool. So she's done then? Who's left? No, she's not done, alright? You keep holding her hair and smash her face first into a glass frame, okay? It leaves a big, red, beautiful, artistic blotch of blood right where her face was, okay? Bam! Beautiful blotch of blood. Whoa! And then you do it again on another spot on the poster, okay? Bam! And then the wall, alright? Bam! Whoa! And then the mantelpiece, alright? Bam! 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 Three more blotches? No, just one big blotch that just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Whoa! So, is she dead? It doesn't matter, alright? You turn around, you're still holding her head like a turnip, okay? And you set up a table, and then BAM! Face the table. BAM again! BAM once more! Until you look at her face reduced to pulp in disgust and throw her away like the bloody face of broken ragdoll corpse she is. So, what do you think? Can I be on acid while I do it? <laughs>